Remember the last time you had a crush? You tried to act all cool and charismatic around her, but you ended up just being awkward. That wouldn't happen if you had gone through hundreds of studies about charisma. Luckily for you, I can summarize all of them in one simple video. There are four big obstacles that stop people from being charismatic, so I've come up with solutions for each one of them. Obstacle number one, what if I'm ugly? Everyone says that charisma is all about appearance, but let me tell you about Giovanni Casanova. This dude had three big problems. He was ugly, poor, and lazy, but he really knew how to deal with people, especially with women. You see, on most of his dates, he had one simple strategy. He knew that during his time, basically, no one used to appreciate women for their intelligence, regardless of education. So that's exactly what he decided to do. Every time he talked to a woman, he'd compliment her on how smart she was. And most of the time, she wanted to sleep with him. This technique is called inverted vulnerability. People just love compliments that are based on their insecurities. For example, if you talk to a girl who's insecure about her new braces, you can easily make her appreciate you more by complimenting her smile. But what if you don't know anything about her insecurities? Turns out Casanova had a trick for that as well. The confidence flip. Every time Casanova met someone, he had the same approach. He would lower his eyes, slowly look up with a judgmental stare, and then switch to a big smile and warm eyes, as if the person in front of him had passed his test. You see, studies have shown one thing. We like people more when they go from disliking us to liking us rather than liking us right away. But to apply this technique, you have to be confident. And this leads us to obstacle number two, what if I'm not confident? I know all the tricks about confidence that you hear online usually disappear the moment she says hi. <laughs> well, you don't actually have to be confident, you can just pretend. Studies have shown that charismatic people actually possess something called the predator's calm. You can see this in nature. For example, antelopes have to be ready to run away from predators, so they are always changing their eye and body direction. That's how you look when you are nervous around her. Lions, on the other hand, move calmly and slowly. They know that they are the ultimate predator. So how can you go from antelope to lion? First, modify your voice. Now I want you to do something. Grab your nose, pause the video, and then try to speak. If you sound weird, that's because you are speaking from your neck. Now try again. Grab your nose again and pause the video, but this time imagine that you are speaking from your chest. See? Just by doing this simple trick, you just got a deeper, more charismatic voice. Yet having a deeper voice is useless if you don't control how fast you speak. Fortunately, I have a trick for that too. Usually, we tend to tell every sentence at two different speeds. The first half is at a normal speed, and then we tend to accelerate the second half. This happens because most of us have a primal fear of not being listened to. So instead of doing that, speak the first half at a normal speed and decelerate in the second part. For example, instead of saying, I like history, so I watch many documentaries, you should say it like this. I like history, so I watch many documentaries. But if your voice is very important when it comes to seeming confident, your eye contact is crucial. This is where most people mess up. If you break eye contact too early, you give off prey vibes, which is unattractive. But if you keep it too long, you look like a psychopath. So what the f are you supposed to do? Well, use the other eye technique. Basically, instead of looking at both of her eyes at the same time, you look at one and then at the other. You can even upgrade this technique in more romantic moments by looking at one of her eyes, then the other, and then at her lips. So just by applying this stuff, you can fake being confident, even though deep down you are probably terrified of her presence. Trust me, it happens to the best of us. For a while. You see, when you pretend to be confident by using these strategies, you are reducing your cortisol production, and this actually makes you more confident. But let me ask you something. If you were a girl, who would you choose? A confident guy who makes you feel special, or a confident guy who makes you feel special and is also very interesting? I bet the second choice. Obstacle number three. What if I'm not interesting? Well, just use the charm reframe. Basically, the most normal stuff about your life can be reframed into something really interesting. You can use this in any aspect of your life. Instead of saying something like, I want to get in shape and lose some pounds, you can say something like, I want to live a more healthy and fulfilling life. That would make you seem interesting, but you don't want that. You want her to see you like a hidden gem. And in order to do that, you have to apply another strategy called the Phantom Shift. It was discovered that charismatic people often show both good and bad traits at the same time. 
They can be nurturing for a moment, and then selfish in the next one. But why does this make you charismatic? You see, nowadays, everyone tries to be seen as a good person, and when other people do that, we feel like we have to fake our behavior to match their expectations. But when someone shows darker traits, it allows us to be more relaxed and authentic with that person. But what if, after all this effort, she still doesn't find you interesting? Well, there's actually a third trick that's guaranteed to make her see you as interesting. You see, research shows that people like you more when you listen to them and you reflect on their opinions. This phenomenon is called the Echo Mirage. Now, of course, you can't just agree with everything she says. That's called simping. And at the end of the day, even a charismatic simp is still left behind in the dating world. There are moments when you just have to speak up your opinions, even the weird ones. And this leads us to obstacle number four, what if I'm awkward? Well, you can't change that, but you can use it to your advantage. How? The imperfection paradox explains that nothing makes a charismatic person more charismatic than the brief moments in which they seem uncharismatic. But if you don't want to get things to a whole another level, you can do what Abraham Lincoln used to do. You see, Lincoln was known for one particular thing, his self-deprecating humor. One of his favorite jokes was something like, if I were two-faced, would I be wearing this one? With these kinds of jokes, he reminded everyone that he's just like any other human with strengths and flaws. This ultimately made him very, very charismatic. But here's a big problem. Humor is a very abstract skill and a crucial part of being charismatic. Only a few people can really master it. Fortunately, I know the video that can make you one of them. 